I'm moving to Sweden today. So it means that the Sopot chapter is going to the end and there is no tomorrow for me in Trimiasto. It sounds strange, but it's true. Tomorrow for me is somewhere else. And this is amazing. This is strange, super weird. And it scares me a bit, but I'm not thinking about it as a risk. There is a chance. It can be the best chapter in my life. So yes, keep your fingers crossed because the packing process is going well, but kind of slowly. <laughs> and my Skoda is already packed up to the roof and there is still many things to be packed there. So yes, I think the worst part is done by now, thanks to Agnieszka. But yes, I'm pretty much emptying the flat and the flat is not empty to say so so yes we will see um it's half past 4 a.m and i'm going out from the flat at 3 p.m so there is still a bit of time to do that so i'm full of hopes but i'm also a bit panicked and desperate by now so yes i'm prepared that i will be forced to leave a lot of things here um a lot more than i expected because i'm i'm leaving a lot of things actually but uh, yes we will see <laughs> keep your fingers crossed and i will keep you updated so the fairy time is today and this is the the last day here in Sopot and I moved in here on April two years ago so that means that I'm living here for two and a half years by now um, and this is absolutely awesome because I can feel that I'm totally a, a changed person and this is a change for good so yes okay okay this is enough for now um, i'm going back to the packing process and i will keep you updated disaster level bugs <laughs> I'm calm, kind of calm, 
calmer than I had been for the entire day. It has been uh, extremely exhausting and demanding day and I'm both uh, shaking out of emotions and super happy. <laughs> so I have never been on a ferry so I'm interested. How is it? but I really hope that he didn't eat it and most probably he did um, anyway I have to say that trip by a ferry with dogs is super comfortable and I'm a bit surprised about uh, not checking any documents neither mine nor, nor dogs um, so I would be probably able to smuggle a horse here or a third dog, third dog for sure um, or a cat or I don't know um, yes but the trip is super comfortable the cabin is very nice um, I would say that this is a very good option for an introvert <laughs> uh, I'm not the introvert myself but I really enjoy this kind of trip uh, no co-passengers, um, no 
noise this is a very good way to to, to go for a trip <laughs> pretty long trip but I'm excited and I'm doing uh, sightseeing here Skoda is fully packed it's packed to the roof as you can easily see probably so I find it hard even to pack a bottle of water there but dogs are very calm asleep so anyway I'm looking for some suitable stop to just make a short walk with them but maybe I will wait a bit because they are very calm and apparently they don't need to be walked now and the road is very good there is a very nice weather and I'm really full of good thoughts see you hey hey again uh, since my trip is just a long straight way I can tell you more about my journey so far especially about the, the ferry stage so it was amazing it was very comfortable and I'm not being paid for <laughs> telling you that um, I'm pretty much not used to such comfortable journeys because uh, going with dogs by ferry is super comfortable I have to say because it was like uh, I entered a, a parking on a ferry and I was able to just go out from a car and enter the, the deck, my deck, my seventh deck. And the uh, very nice thing is that the seventh deck is pr uh, probably uh, fully intended to people with animals, especially dogs. So there is an entire deck full of uh, people that have uh, barking elements on uh, their cabin so that's very good and very uplifting because Jig is still a young stupid boy uh, so he was uh, barking a bit when I was going out from a cabin and I was not feeling super ashamed of that so that's very good uh, about the toilet for dogs um, well it's awful it's awful, it's super small, it's like a, I don't know, meter long, meter wide thing. Uh, there is, uh, I don't know how to describe that, it's not even sand, it's not grass. But anyway, 
my dogs are from village so um, after a bit of hesitation they made it and they peed and smoke even the, did a poop um, yes I think it's very nice of me that I'm telling you that but yes um, he pooped as I told you I can tell you one more time um, so yes and smoke was very gentle as smoke is so he peed on a proper place and dig well how to say that he peed straight to the water to the sea I mean but well he had some fun and so did I there was a, a news on the speaker that uh, we are on a, a port so I just went from a cabin uh, with dogs and with luggage, hand luggage I mean um, and I went straight to the parking place and I entered the car and it was very fast, uh, very quick and very agile I would say because uh, quarter past nine I was out of the ferry and yes I am starting my chapter, my Swedish chapter and I'm really full of good thoughts um, and I drove 50 kilometers so far so I have uh, five and almost half hours still more to go but the road is very nice it's empty it's a very good quality road um, it's not a motorway but anyway uh, it's empty and it's a bit surprising that it's that empty uh -huh, and I'm going straight um, I'm going slightly over the limit and uh, above the limit I mean and that's not super good because it's Sweden and I have no money for tickets so I have to slow down a bit and now I'm experiencing a very weird situation because I would like to stop somewhere in a nice place to walk dogs um, although they are sleeping now so there is not a rush but anyway I would like to, to take a break soon um, and this is a funny situation because it's like a Kashubian or maybe Boryduholske area so it's pretty much beautiful and uh, super nice and there is water everywhere um, so yes I'm experiencing a funny situation because um, if I were to to stop in a beautiful place I would be stopping every 200 meters so <laughs> this is kind of funny um, so I think that a change from Trimiasto to Sweden uh, can be not that painful because I love Trimiasto and I love area of Sopot and I loved the place that I used to live for two and a half years um, and now I'm uh, probably in an equally beautiful place or maybe even more beautiful. We will see, but I'm really full of hopes. taking a break in XU. I hope the pronunciation is so-so uh, at least. And this is a very beautiful place as you can see, but this is just of many similar places, such beautiful places on my way. So I just stopped by a random beautiful place with water because I wanted dogs to swim a bit. We have more than three hours more to go. We are having fun. The road is very good, so I think we will make it easily. Not 
even an hour to go. So I'm almost in Stockholm and the trip is still extremely comfortable, <laughs> let's face it. No strange situations, no strange roads, just a perfect straight road, very good quality, mm, gentle drivers all along, so I'm very happy so far. Um, I hope it will stay like that for the entire trip, but I think it will. Um, and the average consumption of fuel of Skoda so far, so it's been 423 kilometers. Um, the average speed is 90 kilometers per hour and the average consumption of Skoda is extremely low because it's 4.6 liters per 100 kilometers. So Skoda is going for free. Now you have to get used to still. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's also a way. Oh. <laughs> I come at you. <laughs> 